Yeah, I mean, we couldn't make any plays or uh, we couldn't break the puck out of our zone. As a result, we spent too much time there and allowed them, you know, free looks at our net. So we needed to clean that up. As the game wore on, it was less of an issue. Um, I don't know if we necessarily made more plays. It was just we had to spend a lot less time breaking out, so that helped our cause and allowed us to get going a little bit, but took a lot longer than we would have liked. Are you satisfied that the team has been able to adjust? It adjusted last night, adjusted this afternoon? I don't know if adjust is the right, uh, right, the right word, right term. Like today and yesterday are two, two different types of games. Today is just one of those days you're behind the bench and you're, you want to get out of here as quick as you can. It's, it's, uh, nothing's really going the way you want it to and the, the players are fr getting frustrated. They can't, uh, they can't make plays that they want to. It's just not happening for them. So um, I was happy that uh, you know, the game opened up a little bit. We got, got some things to go our way on the rush and it seemed to let the game settle down a little bit. They perhaps got a little tired. Uh, but they played us hard early, and it was just one of those days early where, for us where it just wasn't going to be. Are you satisfied that some of the guys that have been sent back have come up with uh, big games following it up? Guys like Levo, guys like Arcabello that get sent down, and now Leipzig as well? Yeah, that's been a good trend. It's been nice to see, and I think, you know, perhaps guys like Arco that you mentioned and, and Richard Clune that have come, have gone up and come back in the past. They've done it with the right attitude and the right approach and that sets the table for the other guys when they come back. But, um, you know, Leipzig was, was real good yesterday, I thought, and, and good again today. Um, you know, we just, we, we're trying to just figure out who, who and what we are here. Are we what we were in the third period yesterday or what we, are we what we were in the first half of the game today? You guys have obviously been winning a lot, but is there a danger of complacency maybe for the players with such a big lead in the division and everything at this point in the season? Yeah, there is. There is. We fight that every day. I and mean, I don't know if it's complacency. I don't know if it's whether, you know, you just have, you know, skilled people that feel confident and comfortable that they're going to figure it out and find their way through games. Um, you know, we've, we've done our best here of late to... Uh, to re you know, rein them in as best we can and, and prepare them for what's ahead in terms of a, a more challenging schedule for us the remainder of the year in terms of the quality competition. And this weekend, the two teams we played are good examples of uh, some better better teams in terms of where they sit in standings uh, compared to what we faced um, you know, in the first half of the year. Uh, so it's, we're going to be put to the test a little bit more, and hopefully that's enough to really get us going and prepare for what we know we, we need to be able to execute uh, like in playoffs. With Leipzig in particular, what do, you, what do you think the one game up and back, you know, how did he take that? Is that a positive thing because you get a taste or? Yeah, in, in talking with him, I think he only took it as a positive. He was grateful for the opportunity to, to go up and play and it was obviously a very exciting game for him. And, uh, you know, not just the goal, but just to be, you know, be out there, be in Western Canada, you know, to have his, you know, his parents there and, and, you know, all the people watching, obviously, Hockey Night in Canada and all of that was, can only be a positive experience. So I think as much as he was, it was there and back, I think he left feeling good about how he performed and, and, and I'm sure has some internal confidence that he's going to find his way back. Where has he grown the most this season from what you've seen? I would say where he's grown the most is just how competitive he's been, um, away from the puck especially. He just, you know, his defensive assignments and tracking and coming back to our own zone and blocking shots and doing those little things. And then just picking the spots a little bit better. You know, at times he, he can overdo it, uh, you know, with the puck. But, but he's picked his spots a lot better. And as a result, he's had a lot more success offensively. And he's been a real, you know, tough player for the opposition to handle when he's skating the way that he is, and he's, you know, protecting the puck and doing the things that he can do. Um, at times, he, you know, he'll force the issue, and then, you know, there's been some turnover problems. But uh, he's he's sorted that out pretty well. We've been happy with him. What had Lou done well recently to meet him with Kennedy to get a call up? Well, I, I think he's he's executed the system real well with, in terms of his ability to skate, which is a big part of of both our system and then obviously the Leaf system to be able to close quickly and, and, and to defend. Um, you know, and, and I I think uh, when I've talked to Vic, you, know, you, you talk about a player like Matt Hunwick that does that very very well, and um, I think Vic has got a comparable skill set in terms of his ability to skate and close on on people. Uh, so he's done that well. He's shown more confidence with the puck and more consistency in making plays. So, uh, you know, I think there's, you know, there's a number of people there on, on defense that would be candidate to, to fill in. Um, you know, it was the right situation for Vic, uh, you know, in terms of what, what Lou and, and uh, Babs and the Leafs had, had thought. Um, so we're happy for him and the other guys here will keep working at it. And what about Lindbergh? 
Lindbergh's come along nicely. He's been getting better and better every game. Today he showed, showed some real signs of the, the player that I got to know in the OHL last year. Um, it was a slower start you know, last weekend in St. John's for him. Probably a lot of uh, adjusting and all that kind of stuff that comes with coming to a new team. Um, but uh, like I said, today and last night he sh showed me some real, real speed, strength on the puck. Uh, ability to play in the offensive zone and then just defend and, and play real hard. So it seems that the harder the games have gotten, he's gotten better, which I'm sure you could attribute to the fact he's you know, played for DJ Smith and gone through the OHL playoffs, Memorial Cup, all those kind of things. So he's a real nice addition to us, and he's a little bit different than the rest of the guys we have in terms of the, the prospect pool. So we're happy to have him. Sheldon, most of the talk around the Leafs right now is about the deadline and the possibility of players being shipped out. Do you think that that's a carrot at all to your guys, that the idea that maybe some spots might open up after that period? Or? I, I, I would think that, you know, I think the whole season, for our guys really recognize that they're part of the plan and part of the process here. I think that's been a, you know, a, a part of our, our ability to have success, success is that our players have you know, recognize that they're coming here each day and they're doing it for a reason. It's not just for us to kind of do our thing over at Rico Coliseum and, you know, and be kind of separate, uh, separate operation. It, it's been, it's been seamless right from training camp on through in terms of our coaching staff's connection with the Leafs and then just how often they, you know, they're, they're keeping tabs on what we're doing. They're coming to our games. You know, there was a full brass there yesterday. So players recognize, I think, and, you know, whether it's, what, regardless of what's happening with the Leafs on the ice or trade deadline or what have you, I think our players have just recognized that there's a reason to, to come to the work, to come to work and be excited. And if they continue to progress and develop, opportunity will be there for them.